Hey guys, Todd Halpin here, co-founder of Swinky Golf. First, I'd like to thank the owners of the Sir Shanks a Lot Golf Blog for giving us the opportunity for a question and answer video blog. So the first question is what makes the Swinky so unique? Well, the best way to answer that is to explain the functionality. You have a driver protector in travel, a fitness and stretching tool, an adjustable weighted swing club, Inside you have two alignment rods and the steel spikes. So the alignment rods form your complete setup system. All the tools you need for alignment, stance, ball position, posture, they can be used as targets. And then the, the steel spikes here form a putting trainer. Also comes with a string line and a digital camera mount. So right there you've got a lot of golf tools, a lot of training aids combined into one easy to use swing key that fits in your golf bag. So that's something that makes the, the swing key unique, the multifunctionality and the convenience of having it in your golf bag at all times. Another thing that makes it unique is the, the color options. So unlike a lot of other training aids that just, you know, come off the rack in the yellow or gray or whatever the color is, you can get the swing key in any of nine colors. I got a few here, blue, pink, baby blue, purple, Canadian flag, camo, red, green. Uh, you know, so you have the opportunity to make it match your favorite sports team or look cool, match your golf bag. So that's what makes the Swinky unique. The multifunctionality, the efficiency of having it in your golf bag at all times, and all the different color options. So the second question is, what are some of the challenges you face bringing a training aid to market? The answer to this, is in three parts. So the first uh, is the negative stigma towards training aids. So in the history of golf there has been hundreds and hundreds of golf training aids out there and only a few are really good and you know kind of transcend you know the hype. There's also hundreds and hundreds of things that most people would call a gimmick, you know a piece of junk, you know just a uh, it's a hype model, it's a hype business model type thing where they, and actually this kind of ties into the next part. So the negative stigma towards training aids in general has been a tough hurdle. The next difficult po uh, part is that most training aids aim to teach a spe like a specific philosophy or a specific move in your swing, whether it be the top of your back swing or something your head does or your body does when you're swinging. Um, the swinky doesn't teach any specific philosophy. It's a, it's a tool built to help you with your fundamentals, whatever your fundamentals are. So if you want to swing like Hogan, he's got his set of fundamentals. You can use this tool to teach yourself those and monitor them throughout your, you know, the progress of your game. If you want to swing like Matt Kuchar in the, you know, the really flat one plane swing, you'll be able to use this tool to teach yourself that and monitor your progress. If you want to swing like Jim Furyk, you're still going to be able to use this tool for many, many things, you know, your warm up, your putting, you know, maybe not your swing plane, obviously, but certainly impact position, alignment, stance, ball position. So it's basically the tool that, that kind of transcends all that philosophy stuff and just focuses on the fundamentals. Um, so the challenge there is, is convincing or conveying that message that it doesn't teach a specific thing. It teaches all the fundamentals that apply to your swing and your game and where you want to get to. Uh, so the third challenge is probably in our in our sense because you know we're the business the most challenging is conveying all the functionality and effectiveness in the 30 seconds you may have you know if the swinky is sitting on a store shelf. So if this swinky is sitting right here and you've never seen it before it looks like a stick with two grips on it. But, you know, as you've heard in this video blog so far, and even by checking out the website, you take the cap off and you've got functionality that's unmatched in the golf industry. So conveying that in a minute or less on a store shelf has been, has been quite difficult. When you get out onto a golf course and, you know, you do a demo or go through a lesson with the Swinky, that's when the value keeps coming out because it can take a half an hour to explain how the Swinky can help your game. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Hurdling the negative stigma on training aids, uh, the fact that the swing is a tool, it teaches the fundamentals and not 
a specific philosophy, and thirdly, conveying the value in a retail scenario. What is the best testimonial you've gotten from a tour player? Probably one of the most memorable uh, testimonials was, you know, Brian, I just, I don't, I've never really liked training aids, but I love the swinky. So that was, a, you know, that was an interesting one. You know, it just goes to show that it's a, uh, it's an all-in-one kind of tool that doesn't really resemble a lot of other products that focus on one certain aspect of the swing or the setup or, or some kind of action where the swinky is just more of an all-in-one tool for your whole game. So, thank you. Well, finally, thank you to Sir Shanks a lot for giving us the opportunity today to do a video blog for you guys. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the website and the blog. And if you're going to the PGA show in Orlando, I'm going to be on a soapbox in booth 882 in the training aid section. I'd love to meet you. Swing by. Ask for Todd. Um, Brian will be there as well. Uh, so, all the best and practice well. Cheers. Said no thanks, buddy. I just ate. What's that thing? It looks pretty it's a swanky said yeah what is it this is an all in one training aid that I picked up from the pro shop in the 10th grade and it works pretty good to really help my game said wow son I've never seen something that does all and looks pretty clean in 12 colors eh not a nine camel American flag. Looked in pretty good shape. He says, buddy, I've been using my swinky and I'm feeling great. And so my game is 20 yards further. Lower my scores. I said, damn, that's good. And it's all in one. It's got a 37,000 functions. And they all look at me.